Uh, hope you guys enjoyed that little comparison uh, behind the scene shoot that I did with Paige. I know it's not so scientific and I, I honestly can care less about shooting at brick walls and shooting at uh, bookshelves or whatever. To me, I just want to know if it takes good uh, images. But uh, I'm taking you... Uh, I'm taking you guys back into Lightroom so I can show you the sharpness between the two lenses uh, with Hillary as the model. Again, it's not scientific. I had a tripod set up. Uh, I told Hillary to stand in the exact same spot and I stopped down for each uh, a shot so you can see for yourself what each lens does. And these shots were taken um, straight out of camera JPEG so the color profiles are the same throughout and here we go we're going to begin with uh the left one you can see here is shot at the 50 millimeter at f1 and this is the 56 at f1.2 this is both shot wide open uh to both the lenses and you can see it's sharp straight in the center which is what i like and again with the 56, it has a little bit of reach, so you can you're gonna see Hillary's face a little bit uh, closer than the 50 millimeter right here, and you can tell like I can tell by looking at these images that the bokeh on the 50 at f1 looks a lot smoother than uh, the 56 at f1.2, but the the look is just. It's smoother but not by that much okay so and go here you can see how smooth that is you can see I guess you can tell busier at the 56 millimeter than it is at the 50 the 50 just seems like it just obliterates the background a lot more we go over here where you right here you see uh, the uh, fringing the green fringing and it is more apparent on the 50 millimeter f1.0 uh, just take that into consideration if you're t uh, shooting this wide open in a high contrasty area you're going to see some fringing okay uh, at f1.0 like it is to be expected shooting that wide open we're going to keep it moving so at this this is shot at f1.3 at 50 millimeter and for some reason i can't shoot uh, this lens uh, at f1.2 it, it, it either goes from f1.0 to f1.3 and then it jumps to 1.4 which is a little weird for me i don't get it so this is the closest i can get to uh 1.3 versus uh for the 50 millimeter versus the uh 56 at 1.2 okay so we're just going to compare uh, I guess the bokeh and stuff you can see it's a little similar now still sharp in the center like like it's hard to differentiate to be honest with you like that's why I'm like my 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 thoughts on the 50 millimeter f.1.0 is like it's a really really sharp it's a really sharp lens it's 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 really good wide open but it's not leaps and bounds ahead of the 56 millimeter f 1.2 it's not it's not leaps and bounds ahead it's just a little bit of a, a, a head okay and then we're gonna look here at the chromatic aberration again and it's still there it's still, there's still a lot there at f 1.3 from the 50 millimeter okay so we're gonna keep it moving we're gonna go to f14 and then we're gonna for both shots and you can see here 56 at f1.4 and 50 at f1.4 again she's standing in the exact same spot nothing's changed okay she's just the 56 has a little bit more reach so she looks a little bit more compressed still sharp sharp as heck and then the bokeh the bokeh balls if you're into looking at bokeh balls okay nothing there yet 
go here. All right. And then the, let's go to the chromatic aberration. Still at 1.4, you're, you're still going to get some fringing right here. Okay. And it's a lot still at 1.4 for the 50 millimeter f1 but you you can start you start seeing uh, noticing that it starts um disappearing with at the 56 with the 56 uh, lenses okay so there you go and then we're gonna keep it moving both lenses are shot at f2 right now again the left side is the 50 the bulky balls here it's a little circular And then let's compare this one. It's forming, it's coming together. At this point, it just looks the same to me. Like there's not much difference besides the reach that you get from the 56, just that extra six millimeters. Okay, but other than that, it looks both the same to me. So both are incredibly sharp when stopped down, okay? But here you can see there's still a little green fringing along a Hillary's coat, okay? And it's not, and it's usually when you stop down a little bit, it should be uh, gone, but it's still there, which is quite jarring if this is what you guys are looking for in, again, <laughs> a scientific review. This is as, as scientific as I'm going to get because, again, for me, like, these are all like, you can edit, you can fix most of these in post. F2.8, F2.8 for the 50, F2.8 for the 56, okay. Again, really, really sharp. Like you can see a lot of details in, in Hillary's face, okay. And the balls are coming in and then here is interesting. I think the 56 bulky balls look a little more hexagonal. You can see like straight edges. It's not really round. And with the 50, it started becoming, it starts to become round right here. Let me go here, see some of that. And then let's go look at that fringing right here. Okay, so at f2.8, you start uh, to see that it's controlled. I still see a little bit right here, this little piece right here, and I think here, this little loop. But then at, at f2.8, it's completely gone now. You have nothing to worry about infringing, and there we go. And then let's keep it moving. We're going to go down to F4. F4. And again, it just becomes really sharp at this point. Once you stop down the bokeh, you start to see the background and you, you start to realize that these are trees behind. And yeah, at F4, it's like hexagonal. The bokeh balls are very hexagonal right here. And again, to me, it just, it just looks the same, like same, same, but different. It's just like, not that big of a, a difference in image quality. Like it's crazy. And we're going to keep it moving. Okay, guys. So let's go. Where are we? We're at number seven at F five, six. Yeah. Stopping it down, it's dead, uh, dead sharp, dead center, like. It just, like honestly, it just looks the same at this point. And we're gonna keep it moving at, at F9. Oops, F9, there you go, F9. Honestly, you can't even tell anymore at this point. Like, I think, yeah, image quality wise, like, it looks, 
exactly the same man like sharpness like once you stop it down like the 56 millimeter can hold its own against the newer sexier uh, sleeker girthier 50 millimeter f1.0 which is pretty pretty uh, amazing considering that the 56 is such an old lens it can hold its own against this newer lens from Fujifilm like yep fringing's gone and look at all that detail in the hair like look at the car up there like at this point like it's really more or less the same lens Okay, and last one, just for the heck of it, F11. There you go, and it just looks the same to me. And we're gonna put an F11. There you have, folks. That is it. I think. I think um, if you still have the 56 millimeter, you don't have to upgrade. If you have it, still use it. It's still more than capable. It's still an awesome, awesome lens. And yeah, I am amazed that like the 56 can still hold its own. Um, the only reason why you should get this lens right here, the 50 millimeter F1 is for the autofocusing and probably um, the low light capabilities at F1.0, it, it allows in for a lot of light, but the 56 1.2 like it still lets in a lot of light so this this upgrade is just for that extra extra stop of light or half of a stop of light it's like like you gotta you gotta you gotta ask yourself if it's if it's worth it or not like point out uh, you, uh, for anyone that's thinking of getting the 50 millimeter f 1.1.0, 1 .1 just for its wide aperture and just for its, uh, I guess, bokeh, for its out of focus, well, <laughs> background blur and stuff like that, I would consider getting a 90 millimeter. I know the focal length is totally different, and you know, but for me, I just like this is shot at. This shot right here is uh, at at f1.0 uh, for the 50, and this is the 90 shot wide open at f2. And I just find uh, the image quality be uh, to be a lot a lot sharper, a lot sharper. And then the bokeh, it just it just I don't know. For me, it just looks a lot better. Um, I think I just prefer the 90 millimeter look much better than the 50 millimeter i think the compression adds to this and i feel as though the 90 millimeter is a sharper lens than the 50. like yeah but both are solid lenses 